The age of war in the 40s had passed, bringing to the art world abstract expressionism, and with the post-World War II years of the 50s came existentialism. A philosophical belief, existentialism was an idea reflected in the works of 1950s artists. Having been put through the horrors of war and economic struggle, America's creed voiced the opinions of existentialism, how unfixed our existence is, the lack of definition in life, and the meaning of life must be personally built. The values of an era were summed up into the phrase inspired by philosophers like Albert Camus. All existence ends in death, therefore, what is the point? The human challenge to descend into nothingness or have the courage to be. Artists of the period include Jasper Johns, Henry C. Anderson, and Robert Rauschenberg, who led this movement incorporating text, collage, and average life into works. The 1950s also called for the birth of pop culture art. The late 50s saw the incorporation of common products and popular daily accessories into art. Instead of drawing inspiration from nature, pop art focused on presenting the qualities of modern consumer life using media, text, and celebrities. This group was dominated by artists like Richard Hamilton with the piece, Just What Makes Today's Home So Different, So Appealing. The transition from 40s to 50s ended traditional stances on abstract work creating more literal styles and shifting to a pop art dominant age, the 60s, with artists like Andy Warhol.